What's good, sports gamers? We've showed you our players with the top 10 shot releases. We even showed you the commentators' top 10 shot releases. And now we're bringing to you our players with the top 10 worst shot releases in NBA 2K17. And if you like the content we provide, hit that like button to continue to help us grow this thing together. Thanks. All right, let's do it. Coming in at number 10 on the list is DJ Augustine. Last 2K with the same jump shot, Augustine was basically as short as Steph Curry whenever I used him. I really didn't know his release point and I think I let it go at a different point every time. But it went in. A lot. Despite his body looking like he struggles to lift off the ground and his arms barely moving to release the ball. I was pretty much balling with him using smoke and mirrors. But this year? It's been Brick City all day, so the glory days are officially over, and I have no problem now putting this doo-doo shooting form on blast. Here's to you, DJ. Coming in at number 9 is Tony Allen. Allen is on the list because of the deception. If you've never seen him shoot before, it looks like he's about to jump smooth into the air, but then he's like, nah, bruh, and he gets like 2 inches off the ground, throwing your timing all off. And you don't even have a good look at the ball until he's about at the top of his already limited jump. It's a shot you would see a 35 year old at the gym to be rocking. Coming in at number 8 on our top 10 list is Miles Leonard. Slow awkward white guy with a slow awkward shot. Match made in heaven. A player that has a shot release that has a delay before they put the ball into the air is a big no no for me. You want to catch and shoot instantly and you're conditioned to expect that type of quickness when you pass it to somebody. Leonard's release is like shooting on lag in a way. He's a good shooting big, so you gotta have him out on the perimeter shooting open J's. But it's kinda hard to fully utilize him when his shot takes you so out of rhythm of the pass that you're receiving. Number 7 is Tyreek Evans. Another pet peeve of mine is guys who flick the ball behind their heads when they shoot, as I find it's harder to time. It's a double negative if the player who possesses that shooting form can't shoot to overcome it. So here we are. With Tyreek Evans, he just flicks the ball towards the hoop, and you just gotta hope for the best. Number 6 on the list is Trevor Booker. I know he's a post up player and after seeing that release, I know why. Coming in at number 5 is Alfred Payton. This dude. I've long hated Alfred Payton back when my Sixers drafted him and he forced me for 5 minutes to imagine the horror of a Carter Williams Payton backcourt. He can't shoot and his release is garbage. It's Tyreek Evans shot on steroids. He shoots like how Aaron McKee used to, and I'm surprised he could shoot with that thing back then. You can't even have a run where he hits two or three jumpers in a row because he's garbage to the max. Alfred, you trash. Coming in at number four is Michael Kidd Gilchrist. One of life's greatest mysteries is how Kidd Gilchrist was drafted number two overall with a shot release like this. I mean, yeah, he's good on defense, but so are a bunch of players. The way his elbow is positioned when he shoots should just not be possible. So it's no surprise he can't score on anything but dunks and layups. And then he ramps up the ridiculousness by jumping 10 feet in the air on his shots. Once you hit the shoot button, first you're regretting that decision immediately, and second, there's so much going on with his elbows flying and his legs to distract you, I would honestly be impressed if he consistently hit the same release point with him every time. Coming in at number 3 is Al Horford. His shot release is about as lazy as his play looked at points this season, and the meter just zooms up so you're going to get a lot of way early or late releases. It's frustrating because being able to hit a jumper is Horford's bread and butter. But when his shot release is so janky and he barely jumps, it's hard. Imagine passing to him with a defender barreling down on you to win the game. You're either breaking or getting your shot sent to the 10th row. The number two player with the worst shot release is Jeff Teague. I remember when I first came across his shooting form way back when, I had to look it up to see if he really shot like that. I mean, why? He's not 7 feet, so this shot is either getting blocked or affected by the defender way more than any other point guard. Because for some reason he shoots with the ball in front of him, which means if you're shooting from the middle of the court on 2K view, you barely can even see the ball. And Sports Gamers Online number one player with the worst shot release is Joe King Noah. The big dog is shot releases, the first cousin of the grandma shot, is legendary because of how crazy it looks. It's the ultimate sign of disrespect if your opponent splashes an open J with him online against you. I think it even spins differently when he shoots it. No, you a fool for this one. 
So it's without a question why he sits the top sports gamers online top 10 players with the worst shot releases in NBA 2K17. So alright sports gamers, do you agree with the list? And if not, who do you think deserve to be called out in the video? Leave a comment down below. And stay tuned for more NBA 2K17 content to come on the channel. So subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss anything. Thank you all for watching and be good y'all.